Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Now, I think this one is really, really pretty. The the rainbow uh, gay pride awareness ribbon uh, with a black border. So um, we're going to make this one today. I, I love it. I think it's so pretty. So let's get started. You're only going to need a hook. We're going to be starting with red and then moving to orange, yellow, green, blue and purple and then as I said we're going to be using a black border but you could use a white border, it really doesn't matter. We're going to start by having a single red band, oh let's get rid of that broken one, single red band that we're going to wrap around our hook once and twice and then we're going to slide onto a single red band. This one is number one we need to do 24 chains but we're going to split those up into four of each colour so that's one two three and oops gosh four and now I'm going to use some orange one two, three, four, now some yellow, one, two, three, four, we're going to do green, one, two, three, four, some blue, one, two, three, four, and some purple. So we've done four purple. Now we're going to use one more purple, pop it on the end here, reclaim, and then take the side closest to you up and over as if we we're doing a slip knot, but you're not tightening it. Skip this first stitch, okay, this one here, and go in through the second like that. Now we're doing single crochets the entire length of the chain and in the corresponding colour to the one that's on the main chain. So you're going through a purple loop, you use a purple band. You're pushing your band through, you're grabbing a rubber band, pulling it through, reclaiming, and then this, uh, the loop that is closest to the edge of your hook goes under this one to form a knot, and then under this one, and then you have this little teardrop shape happening. I'm going to switch to blue because I'm going through some blue bands, pull it through, go through the first, go through the second, another blue, through the first, through the second. And these are called single crochets. Now we're moving to green. Now yellow, orange, 
orange. My daughter tells the worst knock knock joke about oranges and every time I hear the word orange I cringe. Knock knock, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Knock knock, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Knock knock, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Knock knock, who's there? Banana. Banana who? Aren't you glad I'm not an orange? <gasps> Kills me. It's the only knock knock. No, she knows the Doctor Who, knock knock. Who's the Doctor, Doctor Who? But other than that, it's the only one I hear it over and over and over again. You have to laugh every time. <laughs> Payback will be fun when she's a teenager. Okay, so this is our last red here. Hey, get through. Now, here's our little end cap at the end here. We're going to push our hook through those three little loops of our end cap. Grab another red band, pull it through, and now we're going to start on the other side. We're going to count eight. Well, this is really easy to count eight because we've got four of red, four of orange. So at the end of orange, we're going to start increasing. So we'll do single, single crochets until then. So single crochet. And we'll move to orange. Let's put our red away. So you're using 12 of each colour. Well, no, you're not actually, because the ones that you uh, do an increase of, you're doing double there. Somebody will count, won't you? And then I can put your name and your correct answer in the description. So single crochet all the way up to eleven, uh, to um, eleven, to yellow. When we get to yellow, we're going to do what we call an increase. So you take a single band, pull it through as if you were doing a single crochet, and now you're going to go back through that same spot, that same yellow, and do another single crochet. See, so we've got two in there, we need another one in here. So you'll end up with uh, two single crochets in each of the yellow stitches. Now we move to green and you're going to do the same in the green stitches. Two in each of these, so that's one. Two. One. Two. Two. Now we're back to single crochets and we will do blue. Now I am using rainbow loom opaque bands 
they are by far the nicest bands that I have found to crochet with. They don't stick, they're a uniform size and uh, I just find them the best. Now we're on to purple. Now, let's poke our hook through here and do one last one right on the very end there, like that. Now what we're going to do, we don't need those colours anymore until we tie off. We're going to move to our black bands to do our border. You don't have to use black, you can use whatever colour you like really. I have been using black or white. Poke your hook through this purple band. Uh, um, Yes, through this purple band. Gosh. Drag it back through. And now we go through this purple band, which is on the corner. And we're going to do two. In the corner ones, we do two. One. Two. Now we're going to do a count of eight up here, okay? So, one, two, three. That's pretty easy because you're going to go up to the end of blue, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so this is our last one, we're at blue. Now what we're going to do is in these green and yellows, we're going to do a decrease to draw it in a bit. And what you have to do, push your hook through the first green as if we were doing a normal single crochet. But then you want to capture this second stitch next to it. So you have to put your hook through the front of it and out the back like that. It's quite tricky. Grab a black band. It's easy to pull it through that first stitch. Now you sort of want to stretch the other band so you can get through and pull together. Do the same on the next green through the first one, through the second. And as I said, stretch. Stretch this down so you can get through and loop in. We're doing this for the yellows as well through the first and through the second through the f oops see it's easy to do through that first stitch through that second stitch and tie the loop and then our last one through that yellow and that yellow Drag that black band through and crochet in. Now we're going to be doing single crochets all the way around except for the corners. As I've mentioned in some of the other videos, please remember that you can change the colour just because I've done rainbow doesn't mean that you can't make this whole thing one colour to represent the cause that you want to bring awareness to. Um, I've had a lot of requests saying, oh, can you do this one and can you do that one? No, not really, because if I just spend hours and hours doing all the different coloured ribbons, we'll never get anything else done. And you now know how to make a ribbon and you can change the colour. So um, I am really excited to see all the different colours that you guys can come up with and, and teach me, bring me awareness of what they're for. That's what this is all about. 
Okay, so we're at our last one here. This is our last one. I've done one stitch in it. Let's do a second stitch in it. And then we're going to pull our hook over to the other side. And we do two here. So one. Two. And now we're going to do single crochets all the way around until we get to the end. Oops, now see, look, I've dropped all those stitches. So easy to fix it up again. Poke your hook through. And they're in little slip knots, so you just recapture them. So much easier than when you drop a stitch on a loom, isn't it? And for some reason that is my daughter's phone going off, which is ridiculous because she's only got three numbers in there, mine, my husband's and grandma and grandpa's. Nobody should be ringing her ever. I have to go and explore, investigate. Okay, we're at the end. This is our corner. We're going to do two in here. There's our first one. Here is our second one. Go through this first black band, drag another black band through, and then drag it through your loop, and we are tying off like so. Stretch it into shape. Approximate where you want it to be crossed. Which side do you want it to be crossed? Do you want the red over the blue, the purple over? I'm going to do it this way. Now, it will relax into shape as the bands relax after a little while. Uh, things will go a bit flat. This is one I did the other day. It's a little bit flatter and as the days go on it will flatten out again. So I'm going to pick, I'll pick an orange band because I'm sort of in Orangeville here I guess. I'm going to poke my hook through the back. 
grab my orange band, pull it through. I'm not letting it go. I've still got it on my hook, but I'm coming back up here and I'm going to grab that other side of the band and pull it through. So I have both sides here on my hook. I'm going to take one over the other and I'm going to grab a blue band and I'm just going to poke my hook through. So I'm through one blue band on the back here and the, then I have the tie off band. I'm going to grab an extra blue band and pull it through both those loops and we're going to tie this off in a slip knot like that. So I have two slip knots that I need to hide. Okay. This is definitely going to be the back because you can see the orange band coming through the back there. We're going to hide this blue tie-off band by just poking our hook through some of these back bands and dragging that tie-off band back up so that it's out of view. And I'm just sort of going to follow the shape of the um, pattern where the blue bands are like that. So that that's sort of hidden out of view. And then I'm going to do the same with this black tie off band here, except I'm going to go through these two little black loops at the back here. And if I go through the two at the back, you're not going to see it come through the front. You don't want to see the, the tie off band bleed through the front. So just tie it off like that and there we have our Gay Pride Awareness Ribbon. I really hope you enjoy making it. Take care. Bye bye.